welcome back to my channel so this is the fourth and the last look of the uh, puffer dip series hope you guys have been watching hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far um, so this is the last look. I absolutely love purple lips. I'm going to really miss doing it um, I think after nude lips red lips then for me, it's purple lips. I really really love purple lips Yeah, so for this last look, um, I decided to get a little bit busy. I have glitter on my eyelids I have a soft um, cut crease going on which is really on trend right now that half cut crease that's, that does not extend all the way and i have um a little bit of ombre lips as well i just have a um, regular purple lips and then i darkened the edges a bit with a lip pencil so yeah that's it guys let me let you guys get to the um video um do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already and do not forget to thumbs up the video if you like the tutorial let me guys know what other purple lip series you would want I said purple lips here. <laughs> Let me guys know what other lip um, series you'd want to see, any other color you'd want to see. So yeah, let me know in the comment box below. You could always shoot me a message on Instagram as well. I'm going to leave my Snapchat and my Instagram right here. So you guys can always connect with me outside of YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support all through the series. I got really lovely comments from you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So I'm going to start off with um, a face primer. I'm using the Laura Pro Perfecting Face Primer. And I'm going to use the Hega and Esther and the foundation in browning. Next, I'm going to use the Black Up Out True Color Foundation in Au Chocolat and I'm placing that right in the middle of my face to kind of balance the color out. To highlight, I'll be using the Black Up Out Stick Foundation in Truly Topaz. And I'll be using a beauty blender to blend everything together. To contour the face, I'll be using the Benai Contour Wheel. And I'll be placing the dark colors at the um, sides of my head, my cheekbone, jawline, and my nose. Next, to set the highlight, I'll be using the Benai Banana Powder and I'll be placing that on the areas where I put the lighter and foundation. I'll be um, adding some more contour to my face with this powder product. It's the Zaron Contour Kit. This will just help to intensify the um, cream product I put at first and to set it. And I'm just placing that on the areas where I put the um, cream product. Now I'm just blending the whole of my face with my regular powder and this will help um, blow out harsh lines between the highlight and the contour. Next, I'll be moving on to the eyes and I'll be using this color as a crease color. Um, it's a pale purple shade. And I'm just placing that right in the crease area and then blending inwards. Next, I'll be 
Next, I'll be using these two shades simultaneously. I'll be mixing them up on the eyes. And I'm just placing them one after the other and blending together to create a nice build up. And I'm just going to use a blending brush to just blend everything together. Next to cut my crease, I'll be using this um, concealer from MAC. It's the um, yellow corrector. So the kind of cut crease I'm doing is that um, cut crease that ends halfway. You don't extend it all the way to the outer part of the eye. It just ends halfway and blends into the um, outer deep color. Next, the first lid color I'll be using is from BM Pro. It's a very pretty champagneish pink shade and it has a lot of glitter in it. And I'm just placing that and I'm making sure I don't extend it over the crease I already created. Next, I'll be blending in with this Inglot pigment. It's also very sparkly. And I'm just placing that right beside the first lid color and also placing a little bit on the lid color to kind of achieve a gradient so you do not know where the first lid color stops and ends. I hope that makes sense. It's just another form of blending. I'll be using the first pink shade that I use and I'll just use that to blend these two colors into the rest of the eye color. To even add more sparkly, I'll be using this glitter from BH Cosmetics in baby pink and I'm just placing that randomly on the first lid color. And I already dipped my brush in the Ben Nye Glitter Blue to help the glitter adhere well to the um, lid. So I'll be lining my eyes with the Early Girl Gel Liner. So I'll be doing a thick liner, I'm doing a thick wing, um, a thick under eye liner and also I'll be doing the inner corner liner. Also the rest of the face, I'm using this pale pink blush from B Emperor as well. I'm just using that on the apple of my cheeks. And then I'm using the Scandinavia Setting Spray to set and mystify the face. Next, I'm going in with the highlighter. This is from Gerard Cosmetics in Dorothy. And I'll be placing the second color which is brighter than the first and I'll be using that only on my cheekbones to kind of intensify the highlight. Next for the lips I'll be doing um, ombre lips and I'll be using this lip liner all over my lips first and I'll use a darker lip liner to darken the edges. Unfortunately, I lost the clip of me applying the lip gloss. My um, camera had stopped recording and I didn't even look up till I finished the lip. So you'd have to forgive me on that one. Yes, so um, this completes the look. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely enjoyed doing this makeup look. Um, let me know if you like it in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.